So the idea is to play chess as quickly as possible without drowning. Yeah, it's different. It's completely different chess. And I love swimming, so why not try? I think it's getting into a rhythm. You've got to be able to hold your breath, stay underwater, stay nice and calm, don't move about too much, and get into a good zone so that you can think about what you're going to do. And then repeating that again and again is really important. People ask whether chess is a sport or not, and that can be a bit of a gray area. A lot of people doubt that it's a sport. So I thought, well, let's, let's, let's create a form of chess that's definitely a sport. Most players play tournament chess with chess clocks, where you can think as long as you have time on your clock. And I thought, well, maybe we could combine uh, our breathing uh, into the time somehow. So I thought, well, hey, why not have a game where you can think for as long as you can hold your breath for each move? And that's where the swimming pool came into play. And that's how diving chess was created, where it combined the cerebral with the physical. And as you can tell, I'm exhausted. I mean, it's so physically demanding uh, and mentally taxing as well. Well, I, I take it a pinch of salt. Yeah, I am technically one of the joint four world champions in diving chess um, because nobody else does a world championship but if Gary Kasparov came and did this he'd, he'd thrash everybody so uh, so it, it's a good bit of fun. Well